You know, this has been going for how many episodes? How many episodes are we into? I Emily, Marlena? I can't count that high. A uh, hundred? Did we do the hundred episode celebration I think yet? We, That's, I know it's on the calendar. We're you know, on episode I, 17. Rainy, I, you've been the backdrop guy for the better part of those episodes. Why don't you give us a wave, Rainy? Everyone, this is Rainy. <laughs> he does a lot of the working and sweating around here. Did he flick us off or did he give us I a true wave? I don't know. Wow. That was pretty good, though. That was good. We got All Marlene right. at the table here. You can't yeah, see her on working. camera. She's off camera. There she yeah, comes. Yeah, some fingers or something in the camera. All right. So today we're going to be talking about... Uh, Learning how to do something new. I can't read your handwriting. Are we just like one of those old answer machines where we finish the other person's. Lauren, Hell, Lauren, Thanks. Lauren Hugh. Learning how do, to do something new. Oh. Learning how to do something yeah. new. Emily found, came up with this idea and we thought, boy, this is just <clears throat> a bucket of fun. So let's learn to do something new, Steve. What All you, right. So no, and it is a good idea because one of the things we always talk about here being a creative agency and and one that specializes on the digital side of things is it's constantly changing, right? So we use online marketing, which algorithms, all that stuff, vehicles we've talked about in other uh, episodes, they're constantly changing. So we constantly have to stay ahead and learn the newest thing. Thought it'd be fun to take it outside of what we do for a living, learning something new in life. What was the last thing you said? We're a bunch of self teachers up here. I mean, we're yeah. all self starting. and It's a big, and, it's an important piece to making a, a small agency work. Yeah, absolutely. You, you have to have people that want to learn constantly. Yeah. That, that thrive on Which that. Which so, I love that. So. Yeah, so do I. It's, it's how, how we've invented ourselves. Um, I mean, at least from back in the days of just doing business cards. <laughs> that was a good run, though. Those business cards. Yeah. Uh, big business. Big business. Big card. profit margins. Yeah, on this. It was, it was, yeah. <laughs> you know what? There ain't nothing wrong with doing a little bit of business cards every now and then. All right. There's not. Well, let's get back on track. Um, so what do we got, Steve? So what, what is, was I was just figuring? What, what was the last thing you taught yourself to do besides last thing I taught myself smart-ass. to do? Yeah. Um. As far as work goes, or no, just, in, just in work, pers- no. personal life. Yeah, we, Talked enough business. Um, on yeah, this I think episode. the newest thing I've been doing is, is rock climbing, indoor rock climbing. It's oh, the yeah. last thing I've I've picked up. Yeah, but I wouldn't really say I. I guess you figured it out on your own. Well, but I yeah. remember you told me now you're going. What's that? Chuck E. Cheese. They have the big one up there. Yeah. You what like you do is you get in the, and... you jump into the ball pit and you have to climb <laughs> up the netting to try to get yeah, out. I think that's awesome, man. And I if think... you get to the top, they give you a uh, a plastic ring. Well, you always hang out at the malls on the weekends, so I know they put a lot of rock climbing things in there for yeah, the folks definitely. like you. Yeah. No, you uh, see, and all, all kidding aside, Steve. So you are, you're rock climbing these days. Yes, yeah, it's fun. So it's, uh, what's your goal for that? Is there a certain, do you want to like, there's like a, there's you're a doing rate, indoor now. Yeah, there's indoor stuff. I don't know if I really want to do the outdoor stuff. That's kind of probably. Just don't get hurt. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, there's, there's a rating system. So, I mean, you can kind of, you can see where you're at by what rating level you can climb. And, and I'm not very high up that rating level. So, yeah, um, it, it humbles you. You think mm-hmm. you're in good shape, and you end up not being so. But it's good. It's a good workout. Uh, it's fun. It, you got to think, you know. So this is the rock climbing episode, or are you going to ask me what I've learned? What have you learned? What's something new you've picked up? To be a great father. See, my, I'm not as shallow as you're you. Throw Mine's your, not you're about gonna, me. You're going to throw your kid in my <laughs> no, face? Just, I got kids. Oh, I got kids. Wait, you have two? As far as we know. <laughs> That's a joke. Um Sarah, <laughs> she's in a meeting. <laughs> she's in a meeting. Uh, no, I, yeah, I don't know the last thing that I, I learned. And all honestly, like it's, I mean, I got back to something that playing drums. So I knew it, but I took years off. So it was like relearning. I mean, parts, some of the rudimental stuff came back, but just spending evenings out in in my garage. Yeah. And, uh, boy, this is sounding sadder and what sadder. Can, the more I hear it come out, like it's in my head, but the more I hear it presented to the world, no, it's just getting out there and, and picking up beats again. And I got on a stage last year at Azalea Fest with some friends, so played some say, music there. So that was kind of like my capstone, and now I want to get back out there and do again. So would you say again. you're kind of like a farmer picking up all these beats? Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Why can't you come up with stuff like that when I we need know. you to? I don't know. Um, yeah, so no, I'd say getting back to drumming. And, you know, I was kidding about being a great dad, but learning things through my kids, being forced to learn things through my kids, like their interests, a little, even little stuff like video gaming. I'm yeah. not like you guys. Like, I've 
just wasn't a big gamer. So Grayson comes in, has a new video game he wants to play. I have to pick that up. Nice. Football. He's on the football now. So That's good. Real football or it, video yeah. game football? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. Is he into Madden or is he into actually going no, no, outside? No, table ball where you flip the piece of paper. Oh, okay. so, no, I'm just yeah. kidding. No, it's real football. That's it's real good. football. I've waited yeah. 11 years for this, and now we're actually out in our yard throwing a football at night. It's It's been cool. And then with Julian, she's in the gymnastics now. So, like, having to learn cartwheels and stuff like that. So, you, do you learn this stuff with yeah, them? Yeah, I'm trying to, you doing cartwheels trying and stuff? to fit in with my kids. Anything nice. to get them to love me at this point. Because right now I'm pretty much a roommate. But if, if I can learn and adapt to enough of their behaviors, I think they'll accept me. Yeah, no. I think they definitely will. Yeah, but so, okay, so now let's shift it to the work side. This is okay. some of the things that, you know, I'll throw this out there. Uh, videography. I know there was team meetings, and we all sat around and thought of ways we can improve ourselves as an agency a few years ago. And Marlena brought up, you know, we were doing a lot of video work at the time, and uh, we were contracting that out. Which is expensive. And it was brought up, why don't we bring this in in house or give us a shot to bring it in house? And we all kind of went through it as a team. We had to have enough space for you guys to learn. But now we do everything here. Yeah. And that's one example of a major agency shift for us. I think that was probably it's probably the biggest as far as the people at Bonsai learning something new. That was probably one of the biggest. Because it was bigger, so technical. Yeah. I mean, and right that's, down to what, what equipment. Which is constantly changing in itself. And then we, we pick up small stuff. Like, you know, if we're doing websites and, and stuff, you'll figure out some new plugin or platform or something that makes mm -hmm. things a little easier. But that's that's not really learning something huge and new. But when video, when we started doing video, that was definitely like we had both done some video, but never to that level. So I think that was fun. You know, we, we enjoy it now. Like yeah. we're, we're very confident in, in the stuff we do. And then there's times where we've tried to learn something new and it's been a dud. Like what? Uh, I would say maybe not learn something new, but launch new ideas. I know I've constantly come in with ways that areas of marketing we should get into and build brands around. Um, I don't want to say dud, but they just didn't stick. Mm -hmm. Like the, well, the political marketing. Yeah. That didn't stick. No, but that was like really timely. So like, I think when you originally came up with that concept, like it had a it short, was, it was, yeah, it, it was, was a great it was period, almost it was through the political. We got a couple and they were great. I mean, we had great runs with them, but it wasn't something that I don't, I don't think that's a bad thing. I mean, I no. think part of the fear of people to not learn is that they're going to either discover they don't like it or it's not going to work out the way they thought it would. And like, to me, the whole thing is kind of like fail another day. I mean, how do you become who you're supposed to be if you don't try try yeah. all of it failure is a big part of yeah. everything you know moving forward and it feeds right into even learning something new i mean when you're learning something new you're gonna you're gonna screw up you're gonna fail at it yeah that's the best thing you can do to improve on something and I'm, i've done that i've taught myself you're wise tons of stuff and i have screwed up in all the things i've learned so yeah it's it's a big big piece of it you got to be okay with failing from time to time well, you heard it here folks yeah. Right from Cinnamon Milk. Cinnamon Milk. Good old driver. <laughs> All right. What, we got is, anything? It, is that it? I think we're done, man. I think we got a good one in the books here. Yeah. Did that sound good to you guys? Oh, no, Rainy yeah. shrug. No, we got no, a shrug no. from Rainy, so yeah, well, that's good. There we go. Thanks, Mark. Hey, we're still on, Emily. So if you have an opinion, uh, just apparently we weren't as focused <laughs> yeah, sorry. in this episode as we should have we been. Focused? Did you guys think we were focused? Um, Email Emily if you did not. Emily I got something at bonsai I, marketing I got something new we could learn. I got something new we could learn. How to take criticism. I'm not gonna learn that. That's something no. I'll fail at. <laughs> How's that? I'm just gonna put that out there now. No. All right, good. All right. Thanks. Bye. Smash this in the Oh yeah. Um don't forget to like, smash the rigid. like button. I don't know. It felt rigid to me the first where it is. I don't know where it is. Smash it. Uh hit that thumbs up. If there's a bell, ring it. Oh, I was talking to Emily in the back. That's fine. We're not running this. Place. We're still going. Anything now, else? What else? Did we, give, give us one more. Off. Now, uh, now we're done.